Hey everyone, my name is Paul Vicheski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. Before we get started, as always, give the video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, click on the notification bell, share this with somebody that's studying for the real estate exam, if you know anybody. All right, let's get to today's video. All right, so today's real estate practice exam question comes from playlist number two or lesson number two in our study materials, and it's gonna cover land use and government regulations. So let's get to the first question here. It says, if the state acquires property of an individual for the purpose of building a military base, it obtains legal title, remember, title in real estate means ownership. It obtains legal title by an action known as A, adverse possession, B, a sheet, C, eminent domain, or D, police powers. I'm gonna put this video on pause so you can figure out the right answer and I'll come back shortly with the correct answer. All right, so the correct answer is C, eminent domain. Now, as always, and I've said this in previous videos, anytime you have a question on your exam, you have to break down the question into parts. Number one, identify any parties, who they are and what role do they play within the context of the question. So one thing I do wanna point out here, it says, if the state acquires property. Now understand states don't build military bases, so they're inferring in the question that this is the federal government, which has the right of, uh, of eminent domain. All right, understand all government bodies have the right to exercise eminent domain, whether it's the federal government, state government, or local, county, government, uh, school, school districts, those type of things. So eminent domain is the correct answer. Eminent domain permits the government to take an individual per, a person's private property, re, I'm sorry, real property um, for public use, but there are some, there are some criteria, there is some criteria that applies here that you have to know. Number one, under eminent domain, according to the, the Constitution of the United States, the, the government must give just compensation to that landowner, meaning market value. They have to give fair market value to the person that owns the land. Number two is the landowner does have a right to, to uh, due process. They have a right to say, no, I don't want to sell my land. And they have a right for a judge to make the final determination. And number three is title passes. So once eminent domain is completed, then transfer is or title is transferred from the landowner to the government agency, in this case, the federal government. That is the doctrine of eminent domain. I do want to look at A, B, and D, the incorrect answers, because they are as well very important real estate terms that probably will end up on your real estate exam. So let's, let's look at adverse possession. Adverse possession is when real property is taken from a true owner and title is transfer, transferred by involuntary alienation. Ownership is lost when a squatter occupies the property for a statutory period of time in a hostile, continuous, distinct, visible, and actual way. So what do we mean here? Well, a squatter is someone who uh, is occupying a property, whether they're on the property or they're actually in the improvement on the property. Maybe they, this is a common thing in England where, where squatters go in and they, they squat inside a house. The house is left vacant. The people went on vacation in France and they go in and they just, they take the property over. A squatter, once they have met certain statutory provisions, i.e. they have occupied the property for a statutory period of time, and that statutory period of time is determined by each individual state statute. They've done it in a hostile way, meaning they didn't get the permission of the owner. Uh, they did it in a continuous way, meaning they didn't occupy the property for six months, then leave for six months, and then come back for six months. Uh, it was visible, distinct, and actual. If somebody, if the neighbor looked onto the property, they would notice that this person, they, they would think that this person actually is legally there when they are not. So that's the, that's the elements of squatter's rights. If that squatter, uh, they fulfill all the elements within that particular state under adverse possession, they can go in front of a judge and, and plead their case and the judge can't award them title to the property. 
And if the judge does award him title, that means title passes from the previous owner to the squatter. And under adverse possession, title passes, no compensation is required to the uh, previous owner. All right, let's look at a sheet. A sheet, I always tell my students that a sheet's root word is cheat because they are, the government is cheating someone out of their property. Now, there are two instances when a sheet is used. Now, understand that a sheet is an old common law doctrine that many states have codified within their statutes. And it simply allows a government agency and that agency that's tasked with doing that is different within each state and it's based on state law, but it allows the government to wrap up one's estate and wrap up someone's affairs if they've died intestate. When somebody dies in intestate, they've died without a will and there's no heirs to be found. So if somebody dies without a will, they have no heirs. There has to be a legal mechanism to wrap up this person's affairs. And what they do is they will take title to the property, sell it, and then what happens to the proceeds of the sale is determined by state statute. You don't have to know that for the real estate exam, but I wanted to do it for illustrative purposes. There is another function for a sheet, and that is for abandoned property. So let's say that a piece of property has been abandoned by the owner who lives in a different state, a different country, and wants nothing to do with the, uh, the property. The property has become a, a haven for crime. There's prostitution, drug dealing the local government has to have a mechanism to go in and take care of that. And uh, th that is another way that uh, uh, a purpose of a sheet. And again, title passes and no compensation. All right. So just with a sheet, title passes, no compensation to that owner that who abandoned the property. Police powers is the last one. Now, police powers permits the state and local governments to impose restrictions and control upon private property. And I'm gonna explain that this also extends to the federal government, and I'll explain that in a minute. But if they're gonna impose these restrictions and controls, it has to be in the public's benefit. It has to benefit the public through like welfare, health and safety, those type of things. And some common examples of what I'm talking about here is zoning laws, building codes, occupancy standards, those type of regulations are imposed on private ownership and private owners. Title does not pass. The owner still has to comply with the regulations. And if there's a cost associated with that, that cost is borne by the owner. There is no compensation for the uh, landowner. So under police powers, there's title does not pass and there's no compensation. Now, the federal government also has police powers, particularly within the uh, environmental, environmental arena. Um, I think I've told you this story before in a previous video, but I had a, a couple that was in my, my pre-licensing class several years ago, and they had moved from Oregon. They had purchased 40 acres of timber land, and they paid like a million dollars for it, and the value was in the timber that they were going to harvest. Shortly after they closed on the property. Remember, they had a million dollar plus mortgage. Uh, the federal government came in because they found the spotted owl on the property. And at that time, the spotted owl was on the endangered species list. So they weren't allowed to do anything with that property whatsoever. That is an example of where, where the federal government gets involved with police powers. Again, excuse me, police powers, title does not pass. No compensation is given to the landowner. If you're gonna continue studying real estate practice exam questions, check out this playlist right here. If you have not subscribed, click on the little circle right there. Questions, comments, leave down below. See you in the next video.